Welcome back everyone, Robert Marzullo here from Ram Studio Comics and in today's video I'm rendering this uh, sketch of Cable obviously using Sketchbook Pro and I'm working off a of Wacom Cintiq. So yeah, so I got the information that's been out there that uh, Josh Brolin's playing Cable in the new Deadpool 2 movie which is fantastic, that dude's an awesome actor. Uh, one of the reasons I've always liked him is I've, I've started watching him since Goonies and Goonies was just like you know, one of my all-time favorite movies. Uh, so he was the big brother in Goonies, and you probably already know that. But if you didn't, there you go. Some knowledge all up in your face. Anyways, uh, so yeah, so detailing this out. And essentially, the reason why I wanted to share this one, I was just kind of trying to get out of a mental funk here. I've been feeling with drawing, but it happens. You know, it's like life happens, things get in the way, and you just can't always uh, draw as well as you'd like to. Uh, when that does happen, I go to something that's more fan art. I think it helps me keep some excitement there while I'm drawing. I got lots of reference to pull from and things like that. So obviously, I still try to draw it in my own imaginative way, but uh, I've got plenty of reference to kind of pull me back to, you know, some kind of uh, inspiration or whatever I might need to get through it. So yeah, so I thought this would be a fun one. And uh, one of the neat things I like about drawing a character like Cable here is there's lots of uh, doodads, right? Lots of pouches, belts, guns. You know, he's got lots of character design elements. Uh, you can have a lot of fun with them. Now, the only bad thing is I tend to mess up because there's so much going on. Uh, you know, it's like if I want to draw somebody where I don't have to worry about messing up the suit, I just draw Hulk, you know. Purple pants, done. You know, I got to worry about missing out on anything. Uh, but, you know, when it comes to somebody like Cable, you've got just umpteen different things going on in the character design. Uh, I ended up getting the arm on the wrong side. He's got that metal arm. It's actually supposed to be on the opposite side. I end up fixing the eyes, which are on the wrong side right now. But yeah, so that's the only bad thing. When there's a lot of variables, then obviously there's a, a better chance that you might miss something or put something in the wrong place. Now, obviously there's a lot of it that can just be subjective to your, your concept creation. Like, you know, you could change the gear because he could just wear a different gear. So, um, but it, nonetheless, it's still great to practice these types of characters because you learn so much because you got so much variety going on in there. You've got 10 different materials to work with. You've got, you're, you're drawing different things like belts, pouches, uh, you know, hair texture along with different clothing materials. That's all important and, and you learn a lot in that regard. It also makes you think more about perspective, especially when you start introducing uh, you know, like that modern weapon that's on his back. Uh, keep in mind, I did purposely put the barrel upright because I wanted to draw more of the detail of the barrel uh, just because I felt like it was something I wanted to, you know, to do. Uh, but it, it could it would generally be where the hilt is up on the back, right? So, uh, but yeah, so, so with a character like this, lots of fun stuff, lots of ways to study, uh, and just generally just a fun character to draw. Um, and then, yeah, when I get to the gun here, uh, I like doing these because you can really imagine things, you know, you can really say, okay, can I make this futuristic looking weapon that just looks really high tech and, and really powerful? Uh, and all it really boils down to any of this is just circles, shapes, you know, uh, triangular shapes, uh, little bezels, so angles on the, the rectangular shapes, little just tiny little things. It's not really, you can tell this isn't really overly uh, well designed. Uh, but then there's enough variety in the shapes to where it looks alien or modern or whatever, futuristic, I guess. And then, you know, then you just jump in with the rendering and say, okay, I want to make certain areas look specular. I want to make certain areas look recessed. And so you use your shadows to make the areas look uh, recessed into the material. And that's really it. It's just a kind of a back and forth thing that you do. Uh, bezels, shadows, highlights, whatever. Um, but always fun, always fun to sit there and experiment, see what you can come up with. And there's, that's another area in the work where you don't have any real confinements. You can study from other weapons just to get an idea for the structure that you might see. But past that, you can really let your imagination take control there and just have fun with it. Uh, and I'm always a big fan for stuff like that. You know, that's why I do comics. I just really love putting imagination first and functionality in there somewhere. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I'd love to know what you think in the comment section below. As always, keep drawing, keep having fun, and I will talk to you soon.